Long Beach police in the hot seat tonight. Dozens of residents are grilling them about department policies in connection with four officer involved shootings this year. KCAL 9's Rachel Kim was there. That anxiety. At this town hall meeting meant to strengthen the relationship between Long Beach police and the community, Chief Robert Luna and his commanding staff answered a lot of questions. About training and for interaction with the community. As far as, you know, crimes or gangs or drugs. The way we approach policing is it's very focused. Among the topics of discussion, officer involved shootings. That's the reason Ruben Morejon and Kareem Murad were here. Ruben Morejon's brother, 19 year old Hector, was shot and killed by a Long Beach police officer who responded to reports of people trespassing and vandalizing a vacant apartment. Police say when they arrived, an officer believed Morejon was pointing a gun at him. That's when the officer opened fire. He was unarmed. The officer um, didn't give him a warning. Um, there was no weapon recovered. Kareem Murad spoke on behalf of his cousin, 20 year old Faras Murad. In May, the nationally ranked debate champ who attended Moore Park College was shot and killed in a confrontation. Family members say Murad was in Long Beach to study for a debate and had ingested mushrooms. He had a bad reaction and jumped out a second story window. Police say when an officer arrived, the unarmed 20 year old continued to advance towards him despite being ordered to stop. That's when police say the officer used a stun gun gun, then an impact weapon, and finally a gun. I want to ask why they think it's okay to use lethal force on unarmed people. Is there anything you can say about the cases of Mr. Morejon or Mr. Murad? Uh, just that they're being thoroughly investigated. But in both cases, we still have uh, shooting review boards that are moving forward. So, but I understand the community's frustrated. Reporting in Long Beach, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News.